Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial series. In this one, we're going to talk about how to render a uh, high resolution character in the game engine, in this case, Unreal. Uh, don't ask me why I don't use Unity, it's personal preference. And uh, I feel like Unreal is more artist friendly in this case also. And you know, it doesn't really matter what you know package you use. I think a lot of things are similar. Anyway, so I uh, want to go look at our Maya project here. You can see we have a character here. Uh, it's basically just a bust, <laughs> okay? And it's actually renderable now. Uh, and everything is set up properly for Arnold to just render. But we're going to get this out to uh, the game engine and start rendering it over there. Uh, notice that we also have accent hair for the character. And the textures and everything are done also. So it's just gonna be the you know the step to move on to the game engine and set up material and lighting. All right, first thing first, we need to convert our accent hair into geometry in order to be able to render them inside of the game engine. Uh, if you go to the action editor here, you can see now we have three different descriptions for hair, eyelashes, and eyebrow, and he becomes bald because. Um, the refresh doesn't really want to refresh anything outside of the screen All right you just have to hit the, the refresh again so for the hair right i'm going to try to make it a little bit easier to render by lowering down the uh, let's actually switch sw uh, switch to the hair uh, so what i want to do is lower down the density to something that the game engine can handle better uh, it should be at the should be able to handle the highest density and it is possible like uh, in their own demo with the realistic human character render uh, it is possible to have a whole lot of geometry but just to save some time I'm gonna go look for like 70% of the current density just to lower down the hair count to refresh that again uh, refresh it one more time <laughs> all right maybe make the hair a little bit thicker so instead of 0 0.03 I'm gonna make it 0 0.04 so that the hair are thicker and I can also lower down the tip to make it thinner on the tip um, and maybe one more refresh <laughs> it just doesn't like to refresh everything all right that looks better so we're gonna go for preview and output and the operation here will be create geometry and here we're gonna say uh, use the with RAM that's good combine everything cool I do not want to place the UV in tiles, just want them to go from negative to positive. Uh, so the UV will be laid out in the UV sh uh, here that the root will be root will be here and the tip will be here basically. Alright, and then I certainly does not want to rig it, so no joints. And that's it. So you click on create geo and Maya will convert the primitives into geometry. Take some time, but you know, it's 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 not going to take a whole lot of time. As you can see now we have the geometry here and we can go ahead and say do not preview the current description. Do not update and just clear that out so that we're not seeing the hair anymore. All right, so that's going to be the hair. We can do the same thing for the eyelashes and eyebrows. And they're not as dense as the hair, so I can use the default settings. And just go to the operation, uh, create geometry, of course. Do not use, uh, actually do not place the UV or joints. And then create geo one more time to convert the eyelashes. And one more time for the eyebrows. Again, so uh go to operation and change that to create geometry and we do not place uv in tiles and do not create joints create geo one more time and we have three models go ahead and combine them together all right and then delete history all right so that's going to be the hair and I also have the eyeball geometry ready to go. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that uh, you want to lay out the eyeball geometry in this kind of like a manner. So you have the frontal part filling in this uh, this UV space and the back can be something really small. And also try to make sure that there is no flipping on the UV part, meaning that it's, it's not pink over here. 
which is actually they're all pink. <laughs> That's not good. So I'm gonna try to fix that real quick. Go to UV mode, double click here. I'm gonna go for a unfold, unfold. You know what? It's not changing. Oh, you know what? Is there actually fun because I'm showing the uh, overlay, so that's why they're s showed as uh, as pink. So anyway, just make sure that you don't have the. Maybe I can fix this part. Okay, that's better. This one is fun. Cool. So there's no flipped normal map. Oh, sorry, UV in this case. And when that is that is guaranteed, we can then grab the eyeballs. We just need the outer layer of the eyeball, two eyeballs, the hair and the geometry. Right, that's the things we need to get out. So let me go ahead and go for file, export selection. Okay. I'm gonna go for the asset folder and I'm gonna call this guy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this uh, game exporter this time. File game exporter. And just use all the default settings, except this one has to be export selection, of course, and then pass will be again in the asset. I'm gonna call it snip.fbx. Actually, I need to select the group, uh, the sorry, the folder first. And then I can call this guy snip and then export. Replace that one I'm having earlier already. Okay. Uh, because there are a lot of geometry in the accent hair, of course, you will have to wait for a little while for it to go through. The same thing will go, uh, the same problem will happen also when we're importing the geometry because there are a whole lot of things. Meanwhile, you can create an empty Unreal project like this, uh, ready to go. And then uh, I don't need this output log in here. i just close that. Uh, let's see if my eye is okay now. Almost there. All right, export is successful. We can now close uh, that window and now we can go back to Unreal. And then we can uh, go right click import into game. Okay. And then where is it? Uh, you know, I need to find out where I my project is. Just look for the directory and then go to Unreal File Import. Oh, actually, here um, import right click and import to the to this folder here and then Snape. All right, it's gonna go through some basic checking to try to get things uh, ready to be set it up and then something will pop up to ask us about the details of the importing. We don't need to do a lot of stuff here. The default setting should be fine. If you're having rig, you need to check out import the uh, the morph target, which is somewhere here. Oh, actually, it's not a rigged mesh, so it doesn't have that. Anyway, nonetheless, if you're importing a, a skeletal mesh, there will be a morph target there, uh, and you want to check that out. But we're not having a rig, so everything here should be just the default settings, right? And then we can just hit import all. Again, this is going to take a, take a little while. Actually, if you have a lot of accent hair, this may take a few minutes, sometimes even all the way to 10 minutes long or even longer. <laughs> so we're going to break the video now. In the next one, I will have everything imported ready, and then we'll move on to set up materials and stuff. Okay, see you next time.